how's it going? I'm going to Houston today, so I figured let's compare the cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro versus the Honor Magic 4 Pro. I don't have anything super planned out for this trip. I know that I'll be eating. I've always wanted to go to Texas just to try out their food, just see their portion size, and especially their barbecue. It's like seven o'clock in the morning, and I usually don't wake up around this time. I usually get out of bed like around 10, so um, yeah, sorry for the raspy voice. This is a quick microphone test. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on an iPhone 13 Pro. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on an Honor Magic 4 Pro. Both phones do really good during daylight. I realize on an iPhone, the blues do stick out more, especially if you're taking pictures of the sky. But on Honor, what sticks out more on that is the skin tones and the contrast to your blacks. I have officially landed in Houston and in the next like few days I'm here, it's gonna be 100 degrees so I'm trying to stay indoors as much as I can. Right now I'm gonna head to this mall, go grab some lunch, do some work until my friend comes. Since the mall doesn't open until 12, I thought that I should just stop by this little nearby attraction which is the water wall. It looks pretty cool so let's check it out. Now moving on to portrait mode on the front facing camera, the Honor is just slightly brighter and moving on the back, they do have 1x, 3x on iPhone 13 Pro and 2x on Honor. 2x is great during everyday situations and I find the 3x a bit too limiting indoors but outdoors is fine and looking at these pictures side by side, I realized that the HDR on the Honor in portrait mode is not that great. Since I don't have any canes around my area, I might as well try it here and I heard their chicken or especially their sauce is pretty good. Using the Instagram camera app, the colors definitely do pop and looks more delicious on the iPhone. On Honor, it does look more bland. Canes is actually pretty good. The chicken is soft and lightly crispy. The sauce is the best thing about it. I'm even dipping my bread in the sauce just to enjoy it. Since I'm here working, I might as well talk about the Super Mini Go from Zinger. This is going to be a campaign that's not officially, well it's not out right now today, but by the time I edit this video and when it's up, it is going to be up. But yeah, this is like a pretty much a battery bank that's MagSafe compatible so I can charge my iPhone. And also I can charge two more things too. So I can uh, basically charge three things at the same time. This does have a 10,000 mAh battery, so it's good enough for all day, especially if it's just the iPhone. It does have an LCD screen to tell you how much battery is left. They have two different colors. This one is like a teal to sunset gradient color. They do have a regular white and black if you're not into this one. But yeah, I think the design is different. It looks like, to me, it just looks like a carry-on luggage at first glance. If you guys are interested, I do have the link down below. So I met up with my friend, checked in at the hotel, and right now I'm heading to dinner. Clearly, there's still daylight out, so I cannot shoot any low-light stuff. Hopefully the place, or the dinner place I'm going to, is dark enough to shoot some low-light footage. So the place I'm going to is an underground spot where there's a lot of different food places but the one specifically I'm looking at is the burrito place where I think I'm saying right where they sell tacos and ramen so I do want to try that and hopefully it's good. Now this can be a big thing for some people and that's the timer. You would have to dig into the camera settings to turn it on. Like all the other camera phones that I've used it's out in front in the center easy to access but not on the honor. So. I don't want to do four steps to get to a timer which I commonly use when I take self portraits versus two swipes or even one tap. So definitely on it, you need to fix that. The dinner place was actually dark enough to show you guys the Instagram app how poorly it performs on the Honor Magic 4 Pro. It would take me a couple of tries to actually take a clear picture and I would have to be really still. I found myself needing to lean on a table just to make sure it's stabilized so I don't shake. But on the iPhone, it doesn't matter once you take a picture, snap it and it looks good. Even earlier at Kane's, there was a lot more light coming in but I still realized that I would have to be fairly still but not as still if you're in mostly dark situations. Situations. Now if you do have a lot more light then it is more forgiving, you still need to be conscious about it but it's, it's still not as good as the iPhone. Now both phones do have telephoto lenses and the Honor Magic 4 Pro can zoom all the way up to 30x. Usually 30x is not that great as you can tell it's very digitalized and it's not that clear. 
Shooting at 3x and 15x, they both look good. Sometimes the 15x looks better on Honor and sometimes it looks better on iPhone. For video, the next jump is 3x on iPhone and 5x on Honor. And I realized shooting in video, not just telephoto, but all video clips on Honor, the first few seconds, you can see it lag on the phone and it transport over here to the video in, on a computer. So that's the biggest downfall on the Honor for video. Now moving back to the 15X, I realized that the Honor's uh, stabilization is not consistent. When it hits, it looks really good and detailed. When it doesn't, it's a bit blurry to the point where the iPhone looks just slightly better. Now for the camera performance during low light, the Honor is just slightly more sluggish than the iPhone. You can kind of see it once you hit the shutter button after switching lenses, but it's not too bad to the point where it's not usable. On iPhone, it's really responsive with switching lenses, taking pictures right after recording video so if you really need or care about responsiveness then the iphone is going to be the better choice for the pictures though i gotta give it to the honor they do look more saturated the whole pictures pop out a lot more i would say hdr is even better in low light whereas on the iphone it's pretty much bland looking and dark now the downside of the honor is that you would really need to be pretty still to get a good clear picture it's pretty much like the instagram camera app but it's not as bad in low light i would always stick with the main camera lens to get the best performance now for video they both look very close for the wide lens i would say the colors on the iphone is a bit more saturated and more appealing but it depends on personal preference for the ultra wide lens they both don't look really good but Again, personal preference, you feel like you're darker, iPhone, the Honor, you can see a lot more noise going on, so I'm not sure if you would prefer that. So that is the comparison. It's nice that the Honor is coming back, but let me know what you guys think about these two phones and which one you think did better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.